The best advice I ever got was from an old boxer, but it wasn't really about boxing. Let's call this the parable of the speed bag. It goes back a long ways to when I was just a kid, long before I uh, embarked on this uh, martial arts odyssey that eventually led me to the sword. I was uh, about 10 or 11. Uh, I was so young, I, I didn't know a hawk from a handsaw, no matter which way the wind was blowing. But I was a, uh, <clears throat> I was a weekend fearful child, kind of a bully magnet. So I decided it would be a good idea if I waddled my fat, wheezy ass down to the YMCA and learn how to box. When I went down there, <clears throat> there wasn't an organized class or anything like that. It was just, you know, there was a, a bunch of different guys doing a bunch of different things. And uh, so I went in and I tried to pretend I knew what I was doing. And, you know, I tried to do what this guy was doing, do what that guy was doing. And uh, there was a guy who was working on the speed bag. Um, you know what that is? It's a ba ba da 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 You know, it's, it's in all the Rocky movies. Um, so he got done working that and uh, went over to do something else and I decided I would fill up the void and I went over to the speed bag and, and, uh, and I heard this voice and the voice said, son, what are you doing? And I turned to look and the voice belonged to this older guy black guy, looked like a uh, Joe Frazier type heavyweight. His face looked like he never learned any lesson the easy way. But he was, uh, you know, he was no 10th Dan Poobah or Grand Fromage. He was just, just a regular working class guy who, who knew some boxing. So when he said, uh, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm working out, you know. <laughs> and he said, can I ask you a question? I said, sure. He said, uh, when you fight, are you going to stand square in front of your opponent with your elbows out and your chin up and dog paddle his face with your pinkies? Is that your plan? And I said, um, no. <laughs> he said, well, if that's that's not what you plan to do. Why is that what you're practicing? And of all the dumb things I ever said in my life, I said the dumbest thing ever right then. I said, well, this is the way everybody does it. <laughs> and he said, you do like everybody else. You be like everybody else. I understand what he was saying. You have to know why you're doing what you're doing the way you're doing it. You have to have a good reason. And because everybody else does it that way is not a very good reason. Now that's some real good advice, but that's not the best advice he gave me. Let's call this part the Ballad of the Split Lip. <laughs> it came to pass. Uh, I went to the Y one day after having had a, an encounter with one of the bullies who were the bane of my existence at that time. And I had a split lip and a couple of bruises and the remains of a mouse under the eye. and. Uh, so when I went in, he, he looked at me and said, uh, what happened? Um, I told him what had transpired. And he said, what were you thinking? And I said, I was thinking, I hope he doesn't kill me. <laughs> and he says, you know, that's your problem right there. 
You were thinking like a chump. You need to think like a champ. You don't worry about what that guy's going to do to you. You focus on what you're going to do to that guy. Think like a champ. He said, you can be a champ or you can be a chump and you get to choose. Think like a champ, you'll talk like a champ, you'll walk like a champ, you'll train like a champ, you'll be a champ. Think like a chump, and you'll be a chump. <laughs> so I said, um, yeah, it sounds good, think like a champ, but how do you do that? What do you mean? He says, well, you got a picture in your mind very clear picture of your mind, of your champion self. And then just do like what's in the picture. <laughs> so I thought about this a lot. What, 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 does he, what does he mean to think like a champ? Because it's not, it's not faking it. It's not bragging, it's not conceit, it's, uh, it's something else. See, a, a chump thinks, if I do it, it's right. A champ thinks, if it's right, I'm gonna do it. To think like a champ is to have a very clear vision of who you want to be and how you want to be and why you want to be. Maxwell Maltz, who wrote a book called uh, Psycho-Cybernetics, I think he would call that your self-concept. You get this image of yourself, this concept of yourself in your conscious mind, and then you let your subconscious go to work on making it real. Um, Stephen Covey, uh, he was the author of a book called uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I think he would call it starting with the end in mind. <laughs> you know, uh, <clears throat> when you write a screenplay, I, I learned this in film school, when you write a screenplay, start at the end. Start with the big scene, the finale, the, the climax. Start with that and know what, what you're trying to get to. And then go back and figure out how you got there. And <laughs> fill in all those blanks. You know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The way you think shapes the way you live. Everything you do begins with a thought. Every action begins with intention. With self-discipline and some effort, you can control what you think about, how you think, what you focus on, how your life is going to be. So, so what should you think? I happen to have a quote I really like. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. That's in the Bible someplace, but, but that's cool. Okay, uh, let me bounce from boxing to football for a second. Um, I don't watch television, uh, but every once in a while, on a recommendation, I'll, I'll check something out. And a friend recommended this show to me, and I, so I, I, I decided to watch a little of it. It's a, it's a show called Friday Night Lights, and it's about, uh, or at least superficially, it's about uh, Texas high school football, but it's not. Anyway, uh, I. 
I would recommend that show to you. It's uh, you know it's got it's got good writing, good directing, good acting, all the stuff that make good theater. Um, but that's not really why I like it. In the story, the football coach has a motto, and the motto is clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. A focused mind with a clear and noble purpose can overcome many obstacles. For someone who uh, is unfocused and has no purpose, any little obstacle is a reason to quit. Now, clear eyes, full of hearts, doesn't mean you're never going to lose a fight. But it does mean you're never going to lose yourself. Here's a bit of good advice from Lao Tzu. Be careful with your thoughts. They become your words. Be careful with your words, they become your actions. Be careful with your actions, they become your habits. Be careful with your habits, they become your character. Be careful with your character, it becomes your destiny.